What is up, everyone? How's everyone doing today? My name is Casey, and first of all, I hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving break, spent time with the family, got to eat a lot. Sure, I did. You know, I took some time off, but I'm back now. I'm excited to play this game, Twin Mirror. Now, for the guys who people don't know this game, um, it's a, an, an adventure game that you play as this guy named Sam, who's an investigative journalist. That we are kind of forced to come back to our hometown, which is located in Basswood, West Virginia, because our best friend died in a car crash. But it turns out it could have been a setup. I don't know, but that's what the game is kind of about. So I'm excited to hop into this game. I and mean, if you like this video and want to see more, make sure to smash that like button. But yeah, but enough talking. Let's hop into Twin Mirror. Skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the Basswood Sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Rick will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting. Basswood, two miles. Hillcrest, one, one and a half miles. All right. Dun, dun. So I guess this is Sam. Oh my God! This got to take the music out. Home for sale. So I wonder, I think this is a game where we kind of like our choices depend on how the game would end. So kind of like um, Until Dawn or like the Life is Strange. I'm getting that kind of feel of it. Hey, you're going to be, uh, you're going to be at the wake, right? Who's that? Sam. He doesn't look happy coming back. I mean, I get it because his, his friend died. But still, something must have happened. Lookout point. Ooh, that's a nice view. Sun is shining, bright. Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. Okay. We get to move around, Sam. Can we run? Probably not. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Restoration sign. The company made sure we knew how generous they were. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. Okay. Something must have happened. I don't know what could it be. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. All right, let's inspect. What do we got? Uh. We got the cemetery, we got the basswood mine, the basswood, and the basswood river. Okay. Can we, like, look? Oh, wait, we can actually look at it. Hold on, hold on. Get to it. There. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. What happened between you and Nick? Look. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. Strange to think of Basswood without its mine. And the Basswood River? I remember spending entire summers on the banks fishing with Nick. All right. So Nick is our best friend. What is this? Hold on. Read. Founded in 1865, this small mine town quickly grew along with the coal industry. At its peak, Basswood produced more coal than uh, Nick any other town in West Virginia, with the Basswood Mine being one of the most consistent coal mines in the U.S., okay? 
Basswood is also a wonderful place to simplify, let nature be nature outside of its Appalachian Trail with its hundreds of miles of hiking trails, a perfect example of the true West Virginia way of life. Basswood is both a reminder of its past and a glimpse into the bright, its bright future. Okay. A view, a view of Basswood, a travel through West Virginia. Okay. Clothes. Sucks. I already read this. Okay. Does it say? Warning sign because the sign protects better than sturdy railings. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. Alrighty, man. Sam. Just kind of look around here. Emergency phone directly connected to the emerge line. I get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. Okay. What's here? What does this say? Basswood Wildlife Area. Oh, no, wait. Look. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Okay. Ooh, look at the animals, the wildlife. Wait, I want to go hunting rules. What does this say? Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. Yeah, me too. I don't like... Some of these species are endangered. She wrote an article about it. West Virginia Science Mountain Forests are home to deers, flying squirrels, red foxes, field mice, rabbits, and caves, bats, among others. Animals, bobcats, wild boars, and even black bears have been seen all over the state. Even every remote pharmacist have occasionally sighted an Easter cougar, puma, on color on the prowl. So they have pumas in here too? A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. What happened? I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. Okay. Let's look at the skull. Check out the view. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. Spyglass, okay. What is going on? Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? This is going on his head. Fine. Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. Okay. Ooh, we actually get to go on here? I, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. Who's that? And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. Memory. Remember? This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others, even in me. Something happened to Nick. Oh my gosh. Memory, yes. Let's remember. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no. I wasn't listening. We 
got another memory. Remember. Come on, Anna. Look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. <gasps> I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. He is. I'm down on one knee. A ring. What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna. Please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. Is that why we left? I'm so confused. Ooh, I got it. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? You're really not going to show? Press the... to read the new journey... journal entry. Okay. I decided to take a walk on a promoted before Nick's funeral. I thought I wasn't ready to face base basswood again, but the past is already pulling me back in. My memories are so vivid as if I never left. Take a walk, okay. Remember the night in the spyglass, return to the car. You wasted enough time. Okay, so I gotta go to the car now. I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. All right, so something happened between Nick and, and Sam. Walter, are you still coming? Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone. Are you still coming? I really hope you can make the wake. I'll be at the Haven. Um, ooh, so we get to actually make choices here. Nick won't care. I'm almost there. I feel like I should pay my respects even though I still don't know what is going on. So I'm gonna put... I'm almost there. Got stuck in traffic. Almost there. Lost the signal. Some things never change. Would? Or are we just gonna drive away? Okay. Minor Haven parking lot.
Joanne Bug Wallenter, Nick's daughter. Can't imagine what she's going through. Oh, so that's Nick's daughter. Okay. Yuli, you actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. Is he gonna drive? What's going on? So... You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. Let me explain. Let's not talk about it. I'm sorry. Um, I feel like we need to explain to her what exactly what happened. So let's do that. It was more complicated than just me and you. It's always more important than me. Joan, listen. After Anna and I broke up, I couldn't keep living with her. I didn't have anywhere else to stay. So I moved back in with my mom, who's over in Connecticut these days. You didn't call, text, or anything. You were just gone. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? Is that our conscience? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again? It's your call. Keep her out of it. Promise to look into it. Oh my god. I don't like. Like, I do want to promise it, but what if I. If, mm, I'm going to promise to look into it. Okay, I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. Oh, boy. I hope I did the right choice. Because I didn't want to let her down again. And Nick, yeah, he was our, our friend. Pac-Man. 
There's Nick and the daughter. Journal update. Everyone knows Nick and I were best friends. Okay, so they were best friends. Everyone thinks I, I own it to him to be here. His daughter Joanne goes even further. She thinks I should stay here and investigate her father's death. Our old boss Walter is sure to have something to say too. I won't be able to sneak past him. Okay, so we have five people. We got Joanne, we got ourselves, and and Nick. Nick been my friend since we were kids, my only friend. I ghosted him two years ago when I left Basswood, and now uh, he's ghosting me by being dead. Well. Okay, I don't want to wait. Wait. Anna, the one that got away. Would my whole life be different? Has she said yes? Seeing her again, that's going to be hard. I bet seeing your ex... Fiance or ex-girlfriend, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, part of me is is looking forward to it. The rest of me wants to return and around and leave now. Of all the people I hurt when I left Basswood, Joan is one of the who least deserves it. She's just a kid and my goddaughter. Oh, wow, goddaughter. Okay. But it's a tough job to be the only kid. Uh, the only kid's only friend. I could... I couldn't hack it. Now that her dad died, things aren't going to get any easier for her. Angry, hurt, stubborn, hard to believe Jonah was the only only one who nicknamed me Mully. Oh, okay, because I didn't know who that was. Not that I'm looking for an excuse. I made a promise to the child that will break her heart, whether I keep it or not. What if she's right about her father's death? What will that do to her and what and what if i can give her the answer she's hoping for memento okay all right got there my reading skills might as well talk to walter i'll have to sooner or later color mine haven everything has to be referenced oh my god didn't reference to mine okay yes the cat food is under the sink yes yes it is mother trust me Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe, has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you. Even if I wish the circumstances were different. Step back or hug him. In times like these, we need the comforting touch mm. of others. At least I do. Let's hug him. It's the least we can do. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. Journal update. I already read this one. Oh, the people. Walter. My old boss at the paper. I'll say he's taught me everything I know by giving my track record. That wouldn't be much of a compliment. I always thought Walter as the decent sort, a rare breed who truly believes his job is to serve the community. Seeking the old joker was nicer than I expected. Okay. So we are going. Can we look? Ugh, I'm not ready for this. We gotta face it. We gotta face it. Here we go. Coral Mind Haven. So we inside of the bar. Mr. Samuel Higgs, 
big shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires. But that means you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after this, right? Comfort, comfort him or warm. let it slide? Well, Nick's memory only goes so far. You know what? We're just gonna let it slide. I think it's a good idea. That's what I thought. Come on, it ain't worth it. Who are you? Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. Leaving as soon as I can. He started it just here for Nick. I'm, I'm you know, I'm, yeah, I'm here just for Nick. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Oh, we got two more. Let's go with the clan. The clan is the local law enforcement. A visual reminder of him from schools. He used to get into fights a lot. Usually to protect smaller kids, no one was surprised that he became a cop. Okay. Joel Lopez. All the miners of Basswell lost their jobs when the mines closed. I know better than to provoke him. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's cranky because he lost his job. Where's status? Welcome to Fina. I ignored the miner who tried to pick a fight with me at the pub. Okay, so that's 38%. So 38% people chose this? Oh. I didn't know you read Dickens either. Ethan. He's owned this bar for almost a decade uh, and still really. can't afford another you just employee. Him a couple of times and I thought it sounded good. Okay. Do -do. Then you should read Great Expectations. There's Joan. Oh, who's that? Sammy. Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh. And this thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. <sighs> Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, uh, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. What do you think of it? It took a lot of research. I don't want to talk about it. Um, let's put, let's think on uh, what you think of it. Yeah. Oh, uh, you read it. What do you think? Of the writing? Fine. Fine. Of the reporting. <laughs> Something that needed to be done. Many medicines are a bitter brew, but you still need to take them. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam. Kathy. There was no love lost between Kathy and Nick since their divorce, but anyone can see she's taking his death hard. All right, can I talk to Kathy? Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. I am as surprised as you are. My condolences to Nick, and it's good to see you. Oh my God, what do I do? Um, yeah, we're gonna do that. I know you two haven't been together for a long time, but I'm still sorry. We well, hadn't been close in years, but he was my daughter's father. I'll miss him. Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um... Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? <sighs> I'll do my best, Jonah thinks. Nick was murdered. Mm, I'll do my best. Hard to make promises. I don't do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. But I'll try. Sam, I'm gonna hold you to that. 
Let's see. Let's see if I made the right choice. Photo. Can I look at the photo? Uh, mine place. So we're going to go to different flashbacks. Pac-Man, Pac-Man, remember? You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. You find every last bite. The mind closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You probably save some lives, you know. Hi, Dad. Hi, Muley. You piece of language. Is that a wedding ring? I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. Oh, it's just it feels like the right thing to do. Dad, what's the point of getting married? Well, it's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here. You can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked to Anna about this? That's kind of the point. I'll talk to her about it when I show her the ring. If you say so. Hey, just remember I'm here, right? If you need anything. Anything but my arcade secrets. Those I'll take to the grave. Sadly, she said no. <laughs> Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rust up, big guy. All right, let's look at Nick. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. All right, Nick and John. Jonah, can I, look, can I click it or anything? No, it says Nick and Walter. Nick and Kathy. Nick and Sam. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. And Nick and Ann. We will remember that. We will. Happier times. I don't know. It can't say we will re Happier times. remember you. Oh, okay. Family, friends, and community. Okay. Samuel. Guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. That's not why I left. I won my bet. Who was? Who was the bet with? Uh, that's not the... That wasn't the reason I left town. Oh, you think it was that girl of yours? <laughs> You left because the town hated your guts. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. He has a gun. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. It's been rough, honestly. I don't pretend you care. Don't oh, don't pretend you care. Things have been great. Uh, you know what? I don't know if I like this guy, so I'm gonna put don't pretend you care. Yeah, like you'd care. Uh, not too much. But suit yourself. If you wanna be like that. Anyway. Cheers to Nick, a man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which... Anne? Is that Anne? Who's there? It is Anne.
She has a good voice. Years. That was actually a good song. Ooh, we got a lot of people. Okay, we did that. And Dennis. Dennis is the IT guy at the paper I used to work for. I remember him as a bitter and a mean spirit guy, a loner with not many friends in Basswood. So am I. But the it but it doesn't mean we were kinded spirits? Kinded spirits? Okay. Hugh. Hugh is in is new in town, but it seems like he knows how to fit in. Then again, as the town pharmacist fitting in Fitting in is as part of his job still. A decent of him to have come to next week. All right, and then we got Tara. Tara is the off office administrator, and Basswood Jungle is the weird co-workers. She likes everyone and everything. Dinosaurs, romance novels, and Velik TV, conspiracy theories, rice, cookies, unusual street names. You name it, she talks about it for hours. Okay, so you can have a conversation about anything. Oh my god. There we go. Kathy. Kathy and Nick were married young and divorced quickly. I'm not sure she even really liked me, though I was their daughter's godfather, or maybe that's just made things worse. Mm -hmm. All right. So, should we go talk to her? What do you guys think? It's been a minute. It's been two years since we'd spoken. Ah. Has it really been two years since I saw her? She hasn't changed a bit. Drum kit. No, just face it. Just do it, just do it. Anna? Sam! Oh. Hug her back, we gotta hug her, we gotta hug her. I've missed you. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? It was it wasn't because of you. I am here now. It hurts to come back. Oh my god, what do I do? Mm. I just put it hurts to come back, yeah. I won't lie, it really hurt coming back. I stopped by lookout point on the way here. Sam. Why'd you do that to yourself? A desire to open old wounds. The old timers gave me hell when I came in too. People around here have short tempers. <laughs> and long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was gonna close anyways. Maybe any year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. Oh, okay, so that's why the townspeople hate uh, hate hate me because we did uh, a report on the mine and then a lot of people lost their jobs. Okay. Tell that to everybody else. I know I didn't help. Mm, yeah, just put... I wish everyone else understood that. People are scared. Mad. You were easy to blame. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's Joe. He's an oak, unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> it wasn't just him. 
Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together. It started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. What? So Nick and my ex-girlfriend would or, or something serious? What? I can imagine you and Nick were together. Yeah, I don't think I should ask her that question right away. So I think I'm going to put I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, you two it must be so hard. Are you okay? You knew about us, right? He, he said he was going to tell you. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, I, I knew, but knowing and, um, seeing, <laughs> knowing are different. And then I'll go. It's gonna be awkward. I. That's the guy who got the mind closed. Journal update. Ooh, we didn't attend the wake and drown our sores with water. People. Oh, we got noob. Eh, Sam. Seeing Anne again threw me for a loop. So much that I didn't even ask her about the circumstances of Nick's death. Yeah, because she just died. I don't think it would be the proper timing. But afterwards, I got the feeling that it was for the better. Yeah. And then Anne get a new one? Uh, I think she did. Anne and Nick talk about cliches. The moment I left Basswood, my best friend and my ex got together. I don't know how to take this, but in a strange way, it's also the thing that we have in common. And it's the only person who knows what it feels to... Feels like to lost to have lost Nick. Oh my god, I can't
We should ask about Nick's death. One quick thing. Nick's death. Are you sure it was an accident? Are we sure? What are you trying to say? Now, Sam, I know you're a bird dog at heart and a bird dog hunts. But listen, Nick's death was an accident. Don't go riling people up. Don't you think you've done that enough to the nice folks around here? I guess so. Enjoy your evening. It was worth a shot since, you know, they're cops, they know. You no, know, Sam, he likes they to did the evidence. poke. Chasing shadows. Uh, okay. So. Joanne? Kathy? No, you're not Kathy. Wait. So tragic what happened yeah, to Nick. The details are horrible. They think he didn't die on impact. Instead, he roasted, roasted to death. Not enough to damage the bones, but you know, not a pretty sight. Unless you're into that kind of thing, of course. I didn't mean to be rude, Sam. That's all right. It's all right, Tara. I don't like the sight of dead, burned people. Oh, thank God. I wouldn't want to be rude on a day like this. Poor, poor Sam. Now that Nick is gone, everyone in town hates you. I mean, I don't. Why would I? It's not my job you destroyed. You're not the cause of all my problems. I mean, that's what you did for pretty much all of Basswood, but not to me. So, I don't hate you. Thanks for the confidence booster, Tara. Oh. I'll see you around. So you're saying if I cause your job to lose your job, you would hate me? Okay. Oh, there's a beer. Take it. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Well, wow. spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there. With a bad dad joke or two. With friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. Oh, by himself with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. Hmm. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a hoard. He was a good dad, mostly. Drink. He had things. He had things I didn't. We haven't talked in two years. Uh, yeah, we haven't talked in two years, to be honest. I don't know. I hadn't spoken to him in almost two years. I cut this whole town out of my life, and now it's like I'm a stranger. This place is in your blood. It's like an old glove. You have to give it time. The friend of man, the friend of truth. The friend of age and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed. Few hearts with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. Burns, that from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toasts. Well, it's a good choice. And sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. Uh, should we drink? People sure liked him. I brought it myself down. Uh... I'm gonna put people who sure liked him. Everyone liked him. I think even Dennis liked him somewhat. He always had a lot of friends. A few who couldn't make it sent flowers. How's the family taking it? Joan and Kathy seem shaken. Kathy has a lot to deal with, now more than ever. But who could prepare for losing a parent? Not a soul. Not a single soul. Drink, he always showed up. Yeah, he always showed up. It always seemed so easy for him. Every day he'd show up, smile, no matter what. Of the qualities in a good man, that one deserves to be at the top. Not a quality I possess. This isn't a place for self-pity. This is a place for dour reflection. Yes, and drinking. Toast or drink? Let's toast. Toast for our friend. To Nick. He was my friend. He will be missed, but not forgotten. Here, here. Put that down! Kathy, 
What's your underage child doing, drink? You have no control over her? Ethan can lose his license. I wasn't doing anything. Don't touch me. Joan. Leave me alone. Uh, you guys are all so, so stupid. You do not talk to people that way. Her dad just died. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so, so. That was quite heavy handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. Yeah, Kathy wasn't, was harsh. Yeah, I, sh I shot Jonah a text. I'm gonna put yeah. Declan sure came at her with both barrels. Joan's tough though. She'll be okay. Wait, so we talking, we telling stories. Everyone's leaving. I'm gonna be here by myself. Is there a we drink? Oh wow. How many cups did we drink? Well, well, that's our fourth one. Number five. I mean it's just beer, but still. What a night. I'd say that went well. Ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if the years didn't smooth their animosity as much as I hoped. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? I didn't ask you to be here. I'm so sorry. Stop pushing me. Mm. I didn't ask you to be here. Hey, I didn't... I didn't ask for you to be here. To come back. I couldn't let you miss this. You just showed up. You can't see it now, but the guilt would have eaten you alive. True. You're back out in the world. Feeling emotions, fitting in. That's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. 9.15. Weren't we supposed to meet Anne at 9.30? People who don't drink. What happened last night? Oh, my head. Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. Did I black out or what? Oh, I can't. I can't think straight. I need some water on my face. Clear it up. Didn't even get under the covers. Glad I even made it to the bed. Alarm clock. Late for checkout. They can wait a bit more. Okay. God, what a headache. No, don't take the pills. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. Just tossed on the floor. My mother would be proud. E. We got a bag. At least it won't take me long to get my things. Okay. Mirror. Okay. Why did my shirt? Why would there's blood on my shirt? Hold on. The sink. Inspect. Gotta wash my face first. I 
I already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? It's in the tub. Blood. What happened? That's not good. That's... Where did I get this? I don't know. What did I do? Who did you kill? What's going on? Just breathe. Just breathe. Breathe. here or skip it oh my gosh who's that it's probably nick sam be more careful breathe focus oh okay find the way to calm down so i just gotta kind of dodge it a little bit hey no 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 <clears throat> Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. Okay. Try this door. Nope. Nope. How do I steady myself? Okay. Oh my god, there's so many doors. Where am I supposed to go? Nope. That one. Nope. Okay. Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. How? How? How do I find the right door? Oh! Well, let's just go straight, and then this way, and this way. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh my gosh! Uh. Stop myself. How do I stop myself? Okay. Let's do this. And then we're going to do this. Oh! Sam, focus. You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. Okay, which one's the right door? It's the, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, weapon, 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 weapon. Ah, ah. Sam, Samuel, focus. Focus on anything other than the fear. It was our conscience. I don't get it. Doing good, really good. You're almost there. Okay. Weird, we got three doors with three different guy three guys? Or is it just us? Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. If I run, I'll keep running. Face what happened. Answers. Answers. Alright. Hide. Never happened. Never happened. Going on. Going on. Get 
far away. Don't think. Just go. Far as fast as I can. Get far away. Don't think. Just go. So, far which way I should I go? If I run, I'll keep running. Yeah, I'm going here. I need to find the answers. Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. Yes. So I wonder if I chose the other two doors, what would happen? I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. I'll be careful. You know how to blend in. I'll be safe knowing. I'll be careful. I'm gonna take it slow and be cautious. Don't worry. Yeah, telling people not to worry always works. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. Call Miner's Haven back there again. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. Alrighty. Okay. All right, guys, I think it's a good time to end the episode here. I think it's a good point. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying the story. The story is very captivating. Uh, figure out exactly what happened to our, our friends and why, why did we end up having blind in our shirt. But yeah, uh, in the next episode, we'll probably get some answers. In fact, we'll figure out what exactly hoping not going on. But I'm actually liking the, the, the options. It kind of, like I said at the beginning, it kind of gives me the vibes of like the Stranger Things. Not Stranger Things. The Life is Strange and Until Dawn, where the decisions you change, you do change, affects the, the story. I'm really liking that, uh, that aspect of the game. But if you like this video and want to see more, make sure to smash that like button. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. And take care of yourselves. And I'll see you. Bye.